Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder again, and this is another AITA story for you. This one is, am I the astronaut for excluding my girlfriend's sister to a trip I planned with our kids? Info, my girlfriend is not coming either. Laura won't be staying alone more. Info, Laura is currently still 12 and was 3 when my girlfriend gained custody of her. I'm sure those details will be important momentarily. When I, 32 male, met my girlfriend, 29 female, 7 years ago, I learned she had custody of her little sister, Laura, 12 female, since she was 20 years old. I've always been very accepting of her. She's a very incredible little girl and I love her very much. My girlfriend and I have 2 kids, 5 female and 2 male, and I've recently planned a trip to my parents with them to spend some father kids time and also for my parents to spend some grandparents and grandchild's time. My girlfriend was fine with it until I told her that I wasn't taking Laura. She asked why and I answered that I wanted to spend alone time with our kids and my parents were very excited to meet their grandchild and thought this was the perfect opportunity. After that, a heated conversation ensued but my girlfriend eventually dropped it. I told my parents about my plans and they are not happy about it either, saying that it's not fair to exclude Laura from the trip. But I'm currently struggling to see how it's unfair to want some alone time with my children and for my parents to see their grandchildren. I was hoping I could get some other perspectives. Am I the asshole? Edit, okay, you can calm down now, all caps. I'm going to ask Laura if she wants to come, and if she does, I'll take her with me. Stop commenting. Oh, <laughs> oh that was his edit. Okay, I've got a uh, juicy comment from Candy Thunder here who says, this edit sends him to ask on one in my book. I can definitely see that. All caps, okay, you can calm down now. I'm going to ask Laura if she wants to come, and if she does, I'll take her with me. Stop commenting. So you posted this Am I the Asshole story, but you don't want people to comment. Okay, so in this scenario, Laura was essentially a daughter to his girlfriend, who was 12. His girlfriend was 20 whenever she got custody of her. She's functionally her daughter. A sister, but still treated like a daughter, right? So in this case, they have two kids that are five and two. Laura at this time would be... 20. Oh, no, no, no. She's 12 now since his girlfriend was 29. Okay. Ah, okay. So she's 12. Their kids are five and two. This 12 year old girl, think of it as like a, like a bonus kid in this scenario, you know, you, your girlfriend, this was a package deal. You don't, you don't get to just have her and not her sister because her sister is, is functionally her daughter. And if you're going to be a family, which you already are because you have two kids with her, then it's a package deal. Trying to segregate that out and not treat her like she's one of the kids of the family means that you truly don't give a shit about developing a relationship with her at all. At first, when I read the story, I was thinking that the whole damn family was going except for Laura. But then it became clear that it was just him and the kids, which makes it a little bit different. In this case, it actually ends up making it worse because he wants alone time with the kids and just straight up excludes her from it. It is a package deal. In this case, she's going to feel this. And I'm guessing if this is his worldview on everything, she already feels this. She already feels excluded by him. This would just make it that much worse to have this trip somewhere that I'm sure she would love to go and even the grandparents want to spend time with her and think that she should be going and he ends up begrudgingly just saying like a toddler fine and doing it but not doing it with a good attitude and this definitely isn't going to change his worldview it's not going to change how he treats her it's not going to change how she feels he feels about her it's just him conceding this battle basically, and that's it. Uh, so yes, let's go ahead and send him straight to Ask on Juan because he is excluding her. She is functionally his girlfriend's daughter. He is making her feel excluded. Even if he ends up taking her on this trip, he's going to make her feel like shit the whole time because everybody in the entire effing world knows he doesn't want her there. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she doesn't feel that. Maybe she doesn't pick up on that yet. I'm guessing she does, though, especially by his response, his edit. Candy Thunder tells me it's not what I say. It's the way that I say it. It's this guy's words and tone put together. He's missing Every mark there is here. And it's going to be really hard to have a happy family if you've got one part of that family that you're actively excluding. And he he's hung up on this sister thing. Girlfriend's got custody of her, man. Stop looking at her like your girlfriend's sister. Start looking at her as a daughter. Right now, she doesn't have a father figure in her life at all. You have the opportunity to be that for her. And you're just like, nah, nah, nah. Cool, bro. Ask on one. I feel really bad for this kid. And he's got the opportunity to become dad here. He just doesn't want it. And if you don't want it, you shouldn't have gotten with your girlfriend in the first place.
And unfortunately, I think this is a very common thing too. Two people get into a relationship before acknowledging and accepting the package deal part of it. And then they still continue in that relationship and progress that relationship and look at the bonus kids that are involved in it as baggage instead of a value add. And they can absolutely be a value add. She's been through enough shit. Why would you put her through more? The one thing that she needs right now is someone to accept her and to step up and be a father figure and to nurture a relationship and to show her the way. Be a good example for her. It's not what's happening here. Not at all. 